Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to change up the fonts on Bloxy. Whether it's for your um, website or company or corporate brand style guide, or you just want a completely different look. We'll show you how to change up your fonts using the WordPress customizer. So let's go ahead and click on customize up top over here, and that should take us to the WordPress customizer. And on the left sidebar here, click on typography. And you can see we have our base font and headings one through six, buttons, quotes, pull quotes, pull quotes and preformatted blocks and uh, thick caption and font, uh, fallback font family. So um, let's just uh, talk about this real quick. Fallback font family is if ever any of the fonts that, you sele uh, fonts that you've selected up here um, end up crashing or not working because they're all hosted online, um, this will be the default font that uh, will be used if if that ha uh, if that happens if the server can't access the font files so let's go ahead and go over to this example page that we've made in a previous video and we have our title there and we have headings one through six we also have a button and a quote over here just to make things easier for us to visualize so our base font basically is everything on our site that isn't format, formatted as a header. So when we have a, vlog, a blog or any of these options here, we can go ahead and scroll down here. We can search up here, let's say, Times, Times New Roman. Okay, And you can see that all of these change to Times New Roman. And if you scroll back up here, um, everything basically defaults to um, Times New Roman because all of these headings um, are written as default font family. All right. And let's look at some of the other options here. So font size is 17 pixels. We can obviously make it larger or smaller. Um, let's say we wanted to make it uh, 17. It was, let's say, 20 pixels just to make everything bigger. And we can also change the line height. All right. Or decrease it right or we can also change the spacing and you can see it completely breaks it but again this is all because it's dependent on whether or not you want it to be mobile responsive so let's set that to default and let's say we had any of the let's say our footer over here and if we had it on our mobile device and it wasn't it was too much uh, too squished or too wide we can adjust it here and you can see we can also make it uh you can capitalize every single letter we can make both um everything full caps um put a strike through and everything um underline it by default and so on all right we also have our font weight over here so we have we can go from like thin and you can see that nothing really changes because it's by default um regular we can make it medium um semi bold and you can see the changes start to appear we can make it extra bold italic and an ultra bold italic. Um, but it really depends on the capabilities of the font. So let's go ahead and change this to something else. Um, let's change it to this, and then we can go ahead and change the font weight oops, to something else. And you can see that um, if we select this, only regular 400 is available. So that's a great example of the things you can and can't do depending on your font. And you can see that this one has a few versions available as well. So let's just stay with uh, regular here. And let's go ahead and, and change up our headings over here. So um, default fo font family is Ashker. And we can change it to this. We can change this one to, to this. Right. We can change this one to impact. You can see the changes are reflecting automatically. You can change it to this. And you can change this one to that. Okay. And we can also change the font sizes. I want to make it heading one like really big. And I believe that's uh, good right there. And then we can change heading two to be a bit larger as well. You can also change the font weight and so on. 
And how about our buttons over here? We can change it to impact, right? Or maybe this, and then we can make it a bit bigger by default. And you can see that because uh, of locks, because of WordPress, our button size changes. We can also change our line height and then our letter spacing as well, right? And this applies to all buttons. So be careful if you have a button that's formatted to stay within a spot, let's say up here, um, you might mess it completely up, right? And then for our quote, we can go ahead and choose, uh, let's see if there's courier, there we go. And let's see if that changes anything here. Okay. Let's go ahead and check check uh, check on our other pages on the site, and you can see we've we've changed up a lot of fonts here, and you can see that um, obviously these are all very different, and our changes have been reflected. As for changing the colors of the fonts, that's on colors. And that's a completely different video. So there you can see we have different fonts for different parts of the website um, because we've assigned them custom fonts for each single one. So once we're happy with changing up our fonts, let's click on publish. And that should save our changes. And with that published, let's click on refresh. And you can see our fonts for our whole website have now been changed to the custom ones that we've assigned. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.